Hello, today we are going to make a session about coordinate systems in Leica Infinity. So let's start Leica Infinity and look how can we configure the coordinate system in Leica Infinity. In Leica Infinity you can configure a coordinate system from the backstage if you're going to tools and select coordinate systems. Here you can find a list of the available coordinate systems which was imported or manually created as in LGO. So actually if you want to create a new coordinate system you need to go to the manager And as in LGO, you can create you can create a new one. So if I'm going to create a new coordinate system, I can click on the new coordinate system. Can give it a name for the coordinate system. If I have a transformation I can select or it must be created before and I need to define the local data so local ellipsoid for example this is my ellipsoid and the projection type and say create Now I have this coordinate system is created. If I want to remove, I just right click and I can delete. Okay, if I want to modify any of the transformation, I can go to the transformation tab and also if I want to modify, I can right click on any of them, get properties and they can change the value or create a new one. If I have something coming by default, it cannot be changed. If I'm creating any one of them, I can change the parameters. And the same for the ellipsoid and projections. Droid models and CSCS. As in LGO, if I'm going to create a coordinate system, I prefer to start from the end to the beginning so I can define the coordinate, the coordinate CSCS or the Droid model pro, uh, projections, ellipsoid, transformation, and last step will be combining all of them in one coordinate system. For the coordinate system, as I mentioned, we can go to the backstage and start this process. This one is a gold. This is a global place for the coordinate system. So actually, I can see all the coordinate system available are listed here. If I'm going now for the creating a new project. So now if I'm going to create a new project, I can define the, my coordinate system here. So I can select one of the listed coordinate system, which in, we were able to see in the tools. Or I can leave it blank and create it like this. So now I have a project which does not have any coordinate system 
and if I go back to tools I can highlight the current system which I want to use for example this one and I can copy to the project so this this current system will be copied to the open project so if you are turning back to home I can find here there is one core system listed actually we have two coordinate system managers available the one I showed you which is in the backstage which is used globally for all the projects inside infinity and we have one specific only for the, the project itself so actually you can start the one for the project from this bar which is next to undo and redo and recycle bin and so you can find this code system manager and there you will find this code system and you will find the transformation if there if, if any ellipsoid projections we have universal transverse mercator android model and etc okay so now I have this one inside my project also I can open from here and do the same So now we summarize that we have two coordinate system managers, one which is available in the backstage, which is for all the projects inside the infinity, while the second one is a local one which is available only inside the project which contains a coordinate system related to this project. Okay, so now if I want to import some data what will happen actually if I going to import some data if the data already has a coordinate system this coordinate system will be directly imported into the infinity let us make an example so if I'm going to import I have some data on the desktop start this first job as you can see we have some information coming here we have the in the library you can see the points available in the job in the source showing us the source of the job and you can see if, if I'm going to highlight this one for the coordinate system there is no coordinate system attached for this one and if, if I'm going to the view you can see I cannot find anything in the view okay so let us now try to import another job so I'm going to import again let's try this job
you can see now this one already has a coordinate system called KTM system and this is the details of it, the transformation which is used ellipsoid type, projection and whatever so assume now I want to upload this one to the global coordinate system so I want to use this in another project in the future so just I need to click on this one export to global and this one is now sent to the global coordinate system let us verify not this one the second one it was called KTM system if I'm going back to file and going to tools coordinate system you should find the KTM system over there and the source was coming from this job feed job you can see here there is for the source we have many sources available actually if it's user entered if I'm going to create manually like we said in the beginning or if I'm getting some TRF set TRF set is the format of the coordinate system used in LGO so if I'm inside the LGO I can select my coordinate system right click and say save to disk it will be saved as TRF set and I can import this one here using this import button so actually I to be imported directly to this one as I mentioned here we used this uh, it was KTM system this KTM system now can be used in any other project in the future let us return back to our project you can see now I have I can see these two points what is the reason for that this one has a coordinate system attached and if you have a look here in the, the bottom right of the screen you can see something called KTM system this state this this place is a global coordinate system which is used inside the project actually this one overrides all the coordinate system used so actually if I'm saying none you can see only one which is called base which is coming from this one and this one already has a coordinate system but I'm still not able to see this one MZUH and this one does not, does not have any coordinate system attached and as a result I cannot see it for sure I can attach one from here if I want but I'm not going to do it like that so this is another important feature to know every data source has its own coordinate system which was used in the field if the coordinate system is attached you will be able to view this point in the display in the view if it is not attached you cannot see it unless you are going to select a global coordinate system from this menu if the global coordinate system is available it will override everything so I can see so if you are importing some Rhinex data which does not have a coordinate system attachment attach it you will not see anything in the display it is very important note if you are importing any Rhinex data or any job which does not have a coordinate system attached in the field you will not be able to see them in the display if you want to see them in the display you have to attach a local coordinate system which has a projection so this display will only display the projected coordinates okay let's import some more jobs This is now off. Look 
can see this one already has another chord system or the same chord system ktm system make another one So now we have all of them available in the view but if I'm going to remove this one again I just to remind you you can see one of them will disappear and this one which has an issue with the coordinate system okay now let us finish this task and see you in the next session.